Story Shorts brings you an inside look at NBC Bay Area's investigation into Cisco's unsanitary food storage practices. Kevin Nice and Vicki Wynn explain how being resourceful with equipment can lead to successful investigations. We have uh, these, these long running, 36 hour running um, cameras, which um, they all run on um, one huge, huge battery with uh, several wires connecting up four small, very tiny micro cameras. So we had to store the battery for the, uh, the huge camera as well as the hard drive, sort of the brains of it, inside of our storage shed. And then from there, we were able to uh, take the wires and have them coming out of our battery inside the shed and sort of um, uh, rig uh, cameras outside of our shed so that we could uh, see right across what was inside of Cisco's shed when the sales associate arrived. And also the whole um, 36 hours running allowed us uh, the, uh, the opportunity to not have to stick around all day and get great shots and see uh, of how many people came in and out. We also used a variety of GoPro cameras for when we were up close and personal, when we were um, within um, arm's distance or within talking distance of the, uh, the sales associates with Cisco as they came and picked up the food. We were able to walk up, get closer to the food that, that was in there, and the GoPro was able to allow us to get some, some really good close-up shots. Um, this could have been done in a little bit of a more low-tech way in, in some respects as well because we were able to use smartphones, we were able to use old old-fashioned handy cam home cameras. That's one thing we, we learned is when you use that many different cameras, it's really important to keep a very detailed and accurate log of what you've gotten and do it that same day. Otherwise, it's really easy to get very mixed up.